Good morning everybody and welcome back to Robin Lynn on tour. <laughs> Chirpy today aren't you? Yeah well we're leaving Stone. Cricket Club. Yes. We're leaving the Stone in Staffordshire now and we're on our way to the glorious Clent Hills. Yes we looked around this site many many years ago and I think we got three dogs didn't we and yes. there's nowhere well there wasn't Anyway, to exercise the dogs, you've got to leave the site. Yes. But being as we've got an old one and one that doesn't want to walk very far, then we thought, yeah, we'll go there. It's close to where we've got to take the bus back on Monday. Monday. So, so we we'll go there for the night. Yeah, because it's yeah, as Lynn said, it's very close to us, so it's ideal for a one night stopover. Yes. Not and cheap, mind you. Twenty five quid, I think. Yeah. But at least we can go and charge everything up. Yeah, that we've used. So we need to charge the power banks up and the computer and everything. So, yeah, happy with that. It's a crack on there, my little angel. You're looking really pretty today. Shut up, Robert. No, I was talking about myself. I can see myself in the camera. Oh. <laughs> hey. And we are here again, stuck on the glorious M6. What do you think about that? It's crap, isn't it? Crap. And this is why we've been stuck on the M6, because just getting onto the M5. The motorway is flooded. Unbelievable. Well, we are here at the Caravan and Camping Club of Clent Hills. Non members welcome. We have driven through so many flooded roads coming here, haven't we? We really have more little angel. And there to the left. Wrap it round, people. Get it wet round. Get the back end out. Oh, shut up, Robert. And if I remember rightly, like I said before, you, there's no dog walking area. So you have to walk the dogs up this little lane. Yeah, as if I'm going to do that. Well, it depends on the weather, doesn't it? That's why there's poo bins all up and down the lane. And something's rattling in this van, she hasn't packed away properly. No, it sounds like the boot to me, but... No, definitely not. I'll pack the boots, it'll be fine. Or you've left a window open or something. Off he goes to go and show them the card. We did pay last night because uh, you have to pay in advance and it was £25.40. Very pretty sight this is. Love Clint Hills, done many walking over the years. Even though it's after one o'clock, the wardens aren't about. None of, no arrivals before one, but she must be having a late lunch, bless her. So yeah, we'll get sorted, get pitched up and show you a bit more of the site. So we're here, I'm just pulling up the water, as you can see. Perfect. Look at that for a cracking idea. A Land Rover. He's got his uh, living quarters on, well, I don't know, sleeping quarters on top, of that, so I'd say, all in on the side. Perfect. A cracking little side. You've got your facility block just up there. Perfect. And while I'm filling, filling up the water, doing all the uh, blue jobs yet again, Lynn's in here stuffing her face. That's why they're called blue jobs. Well, it's about time you started doing a few blue jobs. I didn't think, because I made a quarry to bring with us, and I didn't think I got any rice. So I've been looking in the cupboards, and yes, I got rice. Oh, I'm happy with that. You've done something right then. You are looking very pretty. <laughs> You're just going to stick your two things up to me, weren't you? Unbelievable. Shut up, Robert. You've got a great little play area there for your kiddies. You ever been here? Uh... Well, you haven't actually stopped here. We came to have a look around a few years ago. It is a nice little site. We're parked there on a lovely sized pretty level pitch. 16 amp electric. I was thinking. Oh no. Please don't think. Please don't. You know think. why I'm always knackered? Why? Because I do everything. I drive. Yeah. I just do everything. What have you done? You plug the electric in? Yeah. Took the dog a walk. What have I done? Sat on your big butt. Have I? So who turns the chairs round? Who sets everything oh, up? Oh, that's hard, isn't it? Who does everything in the bedroom? Sorts the TVs out. I've done lots more than you. I wonder if everybody else is like us, always have a domestic when you're away. It's huh? always the same. Whenever we're you away. You always are done to, aren't you? You haven't got a cold, you've got the man flu. <laughs> you're always doing too much. Overpaid. Oh, yeah. Underpaid, overworked. If you've got no makeup, you want some lipstick. If you've got no lipstick, you want your hair done. What are you talking about? Just life in general, living with an old bird. Well, you know what the answer to that is, don't you? You couldn't do without me. I could. Who's going to drive the bus? I'm sure I could find someone. Don't be silly. Nobody else will put me your little legs. Really? <laughs> Do 
This is me all the time, this is people, when I pull up on a side. That's you on a good day anyway. Or she just sits there looking pretty. Shut up, Robert. Thank God it stopped raining. What? I said, thank God it stopped raining. There she is, look, it's all sat there. Waiting for Mavis to finish her food and then I will take them both out for a walk and then have a walk around the site, do a little bit of filming. Are you coming? Do you want me to? Not really. And then, when we've done all that... Help me back up! <laughs> I'm going to cook us a nice curry, which I've She's done. going to put it in the microwave, press a button. Yeah, but I had... Shut up. I made it before we came. And then Life and times of Robin Lynn on tour, on the road. And then I'm going to have a nice hot shower, long hot shower, not like a crappy little shower in here. There's nothing wrong with this shower in here. No, it's nice as a frugal one. But you know, she always goes on about that, banging on about the shower. I, I'm twice the size of her because I'm very rich, true. Because you know, because I'm full of muscle and fat and not <laughs> and that. <coughs> and she she moans. I mean, I'm managing there, no problem at all. I can manage. It's not a case of managing. She's only that big. Is it, ladies? It's standing there. That's under just a, a one shower. leg. It's nice to have a long hot shower, not keep turning it on, off, on, off. It's a very Bloody pretty sight, this is. I'll put you a bath in next week, shall I? Oh, I'd love one. I'd, I'd kill for a bath. Well, that's easy, isn't it? And I've got to buy one of them baby baths. Every time we... I really, really, really want a bath, we have to book into a hotel, because we haven't got one anyway. Just showers. But the couple who've got the static next to us, they've got a bath in theirs. Oh, have they? Good yes. for them. We'll go around and ask them to borrow theirs. No, they wouldn't let me because of price, the price of the gas. Well, tell them I'll give them a couple of quid towards the gas if I keep you for a couple of hours. Talking of gas, we're due the bill for the... You can uh, take your rubber duck with you. Shut up, Robert. We're due for the bill for the static for the gas and electric any day now, I think. Yeah, I'll, let you, I'll let you know how much that is. Last, in, last April, <sighs> April to October, which is what we'll be paying this time, the gas was £2.04 per unit. So, We've used half a unit so far. Don't use gas unless it absolutely no, have to. We have to share a shower. I wouldn't go in the shower with you, you take up too much room. I might tread on you, aren't I? <laughs> You're looking very pretty today. I'm really not. Really need a shower. Come on, let's go and have a look around there. <laughs> yeah, you do. I <laughs> say. <laughs> what? It's very quiet on this side. It is, all the sites are the same though, aren't they? But when I filled a, you know, the online form in, two adults, two dogs, no children, why would they put us right next to a playground? Even though there's no children about, isn't it half term? I think it is. You know why? Because I know you're a little person, you might want to go on the slide. You can have such a good idea. Promise. <laughs> yeah, so you've got your reception there, a barrier there, which you put a code in. I've never seen it? this before on a site, but this campsite was dedicated... Hang on, hang on, I'm trying to get your good side in. There you go. This camp was dedicated as a memorial to Thomas Holding, JP, founder of the camp Camping and Car the Camping Club of Great Britain and Ireland. Pretty interesting. There you go. Clint Hills campsite. I was thinking, men, do, do your wives just walk off from you like Lynn does with me all the time? She just walked off, you know, like I'm not here. What are you laughing at? Cracking little uh, Adria over there. Adria action. I prefer that. I like little things like that. That's what I married, Lynn. <laughs> this is your toilet block. Very clean. Dryers. Sinks. And there's me. You can also have a game of chess if you want to. What? Or drafts. Draft what beer? <laughs> and if you want to, you can store your van, caravan, motorhome, whatever you've got. I presume, for a price. How much it is, I don't know. We also have a laundry room, tumble dryer, washing machine, sinks, what's the prices by the way? Oh, £3.50 for a normal, £3.70 for a normal plus, normal plus plus, £3.90. 20 minutes. I don't know about that. Oh no. He's following me. Parent and child room. And also a disabled toilets. 
and there's a dishwashing area and there's a dishwashing area for you and before you say it there's a dishwashing area for me let's have a look then oh that's so funny so that's for me there and i'll just show you things there it is look i'm happy with that i thought you might be you have some points in there very clean and tidy it's an ideal site i was just saying if you're traveling up and down the m5 because this is Junction 3 on the M5? Yes. So only 20 minutes off it, is it? About that? I'd say about that, yeah. Mm, about 20 Well, minutes. the way we went, about now, but sat nav again. Obviously, it does get a bit wet, wet it on this side in the winter, apparently. Well, it does look. Uh, with that little blare on there. He's going to have wet feet when he gets out. Loads of grass pitches with, uh, with electric, but uh, you've got to have some good levelers because it is really running downhill. But saying that, it's very pretty. Very pretty indeed, just like you. Shut up, rubbish. You know, I'm, I'm giving up. I am being Good. romantic with you. Good, please do. It's not working. No shit, obviously. Little base camp there. I love these things, and that's a fantastic idea. Having the uh, back doors open and then the awning on the back it gives you loads more room. And we actually know somebody who's interested in one of these, don't we? Matt, yeah. Matt the vanscaper. Yeah, Matt and Claire, he's, uh, he's considering buying one. Yeah, the only thing that's pulling him off is because Claire, his missus, has got one of those dodgy haircuts. And she might catch it on the way in, isn't she? She might do. Yeah, you know what I mean, don't you? And you also have two safari lodges. I do like those. And I do. Sorry? And I do, I think they're really, really cool. Yeah, but I bet they're bloody expensive to hire. Probably. Oh, well, everything is, isn't it? That's why they're empty. But we don't need to, do we? No, no, but that's why they're Shut empty. They're too bloody dear. No, it's winter and up. And this site's only open... March till October. Yeah. So, bear that in mind. You're thinking about coming here, people? I'll film this quick because I'm not supposed to be in here. You've got a double bed there. You've got two bump beds there. Table and chairs there. Fridge. Microwave. Kettle. Sink. So to you there, the chair, yeah, it's very nice, very cosy. And can I just say, there's a, about this site, there's nothing to walk into, it's just a chill out place for a couple of days. Uh, I dare say if you like walks and things like that, then yeah, perfect. But apart from that, nothing here. Now, I know this is called Clent Hills Campsite, but Clent Hills is actually half a mile away. I think it's a five minute drive. Yeah, can we can we just say though, because we know this area quite well, don't we? Mm. And uh, if you ever get the chance to go to Clent Hills, go, because it's amazing once you get to the top. It's a 25 minute walk and it's 1.1 mile, but it's a 490 foot climb. So yes. it is. But it is well worth oh, it once you're at the top. And there's a pub actually at the bottom of the hills. There's a pub called the. Can't remember. There's one oh. at the middle and one at the. Oh, you mean the one? Yeah. 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 Can't think of it. It's probably changed anyway. It's been that many years since well, it we've does. been there. Well, it does. But you know, as I said, it's well worth a visit. Beautiful place to walk. What are you doing? I'm going to have a shower. Look in your pajamas at twenty-five past two in the day. I don't care. What keep, I that, look like. keep that towel over your head so nobody recognises you. Unbelievable. Well, people, I've just got back from the shower block, and what can I say about it? Bloody hot, I know that. The the actual block is lovely and warm, perfect. The only thing is, it's one of those. Uh, you know, pushing shows it stops on for about... 10 seconds. 10 seconds, you've got to push it again. Jesus Christ, I was in that many positions. You know, like you were back in the day when you first get married. <laughs> to wash the soap off you. What? Sorry. <laughs> Something seriously wrong with you. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, shower's very, very good. Except for that needle, you know, you've got to keep pushing that button. Push the button. Push the button. <laughs> Oh. So, Any, yeah, been, and I, actually, actually, let's get back to my shower. It took me exactly 10 minutes. Okay. I've timed myself. In there, showered, back here. Her turn next. I'm going to time it. See how long it takes her. Yeah, I'm going to stand in there forever. And while I'm gone, you can do a drink and cook, put the dinner on. I know what you can do, don't you? So, while we're at it... At uh, what? <laughs> we've received a message from Leslie Makara. Hi, Lynn and Rob. I notice it's Lynn and Rob, not Rob and Lynn. I'm happy with that. Unbelievable. 
could you wish my husband Alex Makara a happy 60th birthday for the 23rd of October and give a shout out of happy holidays as we are celebrating his special birthday in Jamaica. We really love your vlogs. We really, really do. I'm glad yeah. you do. Yeah, happy birthday, Alex. Uh, happy birthday to Alex. All happy right. birthday, okay, dear okay. Alex. Happy birthday to Alex from Rob and Lynn on tour. I hope you're having an amazing yeah. time in Jamaica. Yeah. If you haven't done it, you must go up the Duns Falls. Cause that Duns Falls and go and see Bob Marley's crib. Yeah, crib. the grave. Crib. Grave. Yeah and rick's cafe if you haven't yes. if you're anywhere in that area you must go and do those things yes because was yeah. amazing yeah because obviously you've gathered now we have been and it's, it's brilliant <laughs> yeah long well, time ago you're gonna go and have a show now in a minute i'm having five bloody hell i've got i've been got all ready for you for a romantic night i mean look at you what's happening with your tufty hair i haven't done it yet have i just got to style it no was it tufty was it a a squirrel This is going to take me bloody uh, three hours to I do am going to go and get in that show and I'm going to stand under it because I've had crappy frugal showers in here. Yeah, we'll take your time and I'll drive off. <laughs> I'll find you. Yeah, haunt me. Go on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Love doing that. Go here. God. I'm sure I irritate her, you know. Just a bit. Can you tell? Unbelievable. What? I'm changing the subject totally, people. Has anybody been to the NEC? If you have, what you think about it? Yeah, I think, well, a few thousand people have been. Lots I know there's more YouTubers there than a YouTuber. Yes, there was. Lots and lots of YouTubers there. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it this year, but maybe next year. So, has anybody bought anything? Anybody? What's your views on it? You know, was it busy or... What? What's the matter with you today? You're I'm like... tired. I am. I've, oh, I've took my watch off every time. I don't know what time it is. Are you tired? Still it's, waiting it's to go sat there fire. all day like this. Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, I've been playing on my phone while he's been driving, while I've been stuck on the M6. Yet again. But, yeah, what do you think of this site? What would you rate it at, my little fruit cake, my little pineapple, well, my little crab apple, my little cockroach? <laughs> Being as I've only come for a quick stopover. Why do I? I look fat on film, man. Probably because you are. I mean, people that see me in real life know that I'm fit and ripped. Ah, <sighs> right. As I was saying, for again, I was rudely interrupted. We've only come for a, a stopover. Charge everything up and get this back into storage tomorrow. Yes, that's the site there. Look. Yeah, I think we've showed them around it so they know where we are. So what was your rate? Is out of uh, 10? Well, I haven't been up the shower block yet, as you can tell, because... Yeah, you still smell. We're doing this. And then when I get back, I've got to do dinner for this evening. He's got to put it in, like I said, in the microwave, press button. And do the rice and the naan bread. OK, put some water in the saucepan and boil it. OK, if it's that easy, should we let you do it? And I could film you cooking, trying to do rice. It's not my job. My job is outside and drive. And all you do is moan about that. So you just bloody moan. I'm not moaning. Well, so turn into domestic again. I would rate this a seven only because you, there's nowhere to walk to. But you'd pick this side if you wanted a proper chill out couple of days. It is a beautiful site, but it does close the end of this month. So. So would you come back here? Yes, I would. For. A what did you rate it? A seven. I haven't right. been up the shower block yet, but you have, and then... My turn, it. Odd rate is... A six. Why? I don't know. I don't know. There's just something that I'm not keen on. I don't know what it is. We did say that when we came before, didn't we? We never yeah, came with just, the caravan. There's just something... I don't know. I don't know. But, you you, you know, you, you'll you have to judge it for yourself. But I'd give it a six. Would I come back here again? Probably not. Why? Well, if, if... I don't know. I don't know what it if is. If we didn't just... live around the area... Yeah, maybe it would be different, And you were travelling yeah. up the M5 from down south, it's yeah. an ideal stopover. Yeah, it really is, yeah. It's, yeah. But because for us... I'm it's, not trying it's to not... knock aside too much, because it's a good side. The one thing that I wasn't impressed with was the warden was still having a lunch, where, and it was ten past one when we clocked in. Well, I don't know if she was having a lunch, but... But she should have been in the office, shouldn't she? You shouldn't have had to go out looking for the warden. 
if they're expecting arrivals. I didn't arrivals. look for her, bloke told me where she was. Yeah, you had to go to her caravan. Who's only across the bloody road? I know, that's besides the point. Well, it might be, it's just me. No, I'm, knocking, I'm not knocking the sides that much because it's clean. The facility block's great. So why have you only given it to six? I don't know, there's just something about this site. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, six out of ten for me. And seven for me. And we have got internet, which is good. I didn't think yet we actually would. Have you got the bloody nick here? Yes, I know, but we still receive... I didn't think we would get any internet here, and we have. Yes, that's uh, surprising, to be honest, because there's uh, trees and trees all around you. And we're in the middle of nowhere. No, we're not. We're just off a bloody main road. A, a B road, actually. The access so, is... Uh, well, they saw it. It's just a lane. Once you're off the road, it's... Yeah, I think you'd be in a bit of trouble if anything was coming the other way. But... And that's why they ask for no arrivals before 1pm. So everybody's gone by 11 or 12. Yes, but to me that's immaterial because it doesn't matter. It does That doesn't matter. Other people use that road. Yes, if there's a big caravanous. lorry or something going that way. No, the lane. There's only caravanners nah. that would, use, would be going nah. out in, with their cars. Nah. So if they were going out for the day. Nah. Oh. <laughs> You'll see anyway if you come. It's a great side to stop, stop for the night, to be honest. If you're travelling up That's my opinion. Your opinion is different, but that's the way we are. And everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Oh, are they really? I'm happy with that. So, yeah, it's only been a quick one because it's a stopover. It's always is a quick one. <laughs> Did he really just say that? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you it's come much across appreciated. our channel. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and drop us a comment. Yeah. It's free. <laughs> Enough already. Yeah, so on that note, stay safe, fairly caravan as motor owners tend to drift and subscribe on you. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. Mm -hmm.